What's going on guys? It's your boy Zero Capital bringing you some free for all gameplay on the map Afghan. And like I said in my previous video, I'd be doing a little bit more free for all. But before I get into college shenanigans, aka story time, I wanted to talk about one topic. And that one topic is PC gaming. Now I've always been a PC gamer and I've gamed on a PC for as long as I can remember. And I had one and was gaming on it before I had any console. Now I'm kind of getting back in the swing of things. I wouldn't say it's a new experience, but it's definitely a fun one. And in terms of the PC, I don't only play shooters. I play all sorts of games, such as sports games, MOBA, and MMOs. And as a gamer or someone who really enjoys playing video games, I would say don't pigeonhole yourself into one type of game. Like if you're a COD only player or Halo only player, you gotta get out there and see what's up. As R. Kelly would say, you gotta spread your wings and fly. And look at this, I get Grizz in the face. That guy's gonna be signing up for Optic tomorrow. So anyways, what I'm trying to say is, in addition to posting Call of Duty gameplays and commentaries, I'm going to be occasionally posting other games as well. I want to introduce you guys to some new stuff, maybe have you guys share the same love for these games as I have. Anyways, so let's get to the main topic with this commentary, and that is college shenanigans. And this particular college shenanigans story is about dorm room Ranks. Now when you live in a dorm, you're kind of just thrown in with a bunch of people. Some you like, some you don't like. So I was, I guess, roomed or dorm next to this one guy who I really didn't like. Not because of any real reason, it's just, well I guess you can say it was a real reason. He was just a douche. And he was the kind of guy that would just report you to security for any minor infraction. He was kind of a square. And no one really likes a square. And a lot of times the security would come and thankfully... I lived in a room that you know I could see out the window, the front door, and I could see them rolling up. And when they're coming at four in the morning, and you know I just kind of pretty much assumed it was for me, and most of the time it was. Thankfully, I didn't get caught because I could have gotten expelled. Anyways, so I knew I had to get this kid back somehow. I had to get him back in a way that he couldn't prove it was me. So what I did, I went to the Walmart, and I bought a frisbee. And what you're gonna need is this frisbee and a bottle of water. So it was like a $2 frisbee because after you do this, you're not going to want to use the frisbee anymore. So I drink the bottle of water, I pee in the frisbee, then I put it in the freezer and I froze it. After a short amount of time, it was frozen and I had this icy yellowish disc of doom. <laughs> so I take the disc, I wait until he leaves for class for the day. And I, I picked a good day where he had a couple classes so I knew he wouldn't be back for a while. And you let the disc melt a little bit so it can slide right under the door. I slid that thing right on the door and basically what's going to happen is it's just going to melt there and he's going to come back to a puddle of piss and water. And I kind of like had my door open, I was waiting for his reaction and he was pissed. It was totally worth it. I think I got some of his books wet even and he totally deserved it. That guy was a douche. So anyways, that's the first prank. The second prank we kind of did to someone we are on better terms with. This second prank, it happened when I was in, living in a suite with a bunch of guys, and I knew most of them, and they're, you know, we're all cool with each other, so. We had this one roommate who, he would wake up late for class all the time, and he like rush off this class. So what we did was we would tape newspaper all over his door, so he like open the door and be like a, you know, a door of newspaper. And at first he was like, what the hell is this? So he like rip it open and walk through. And we kept doing it and doing it and doing it like every day. Eventually. He would just run through it and it was kind of like a joke between us. He was kind of like stiff arming it like he was like a football player. You know how in like those football games they run through the banner go team? <laughs> and he would do that right and one day we put a shelf behind the newspaper and he ran smack into it and he pretty much knocked himself out and it was funny in the way that if you've seen the Roadrunner cartoons you know Wile E. Coyote he always does the dumb stuff to try to catch the Roadrunner and he like runs off the cliff and his legs are still going and you know he kind of looks at the camera and puts a little sign like oh no you know it was kind of like that he like runs right into the the shelf his legs are kind of twitchy actually we thought he was really hurt so i wouldn't recommend actually doing this because yeah you might not be as lucky and you know everybody walked away from it and no one was hurt it was all good but it was hilarious if you're there and we actually put the newspaper again a couple of days later and he was like really careful like ripping it open he never ran through the newspaper ever again <laughs> so, anyways the third prank is a prank that i didn't actually do myself a friend of mine he wanted to prank this girl that he was living with and 
you know, she was one of those girls that spends a lot of time in the bathroom, in the mirror, like, you know, pr you know, getting herself pretty and all like dolled up and stuff. So what he did was he put baking soda and flour inside her hair dryer. So when she turned it on, it would like shoot right in her face. <laughs> that's what she said, she right in her face. <laughs> but that's basically what happened. She was like, you know, she took a shower, she was like getting dressed, ready to go, and she just got all that like white stuff, white stuff all over her face. I can't even say it with a straight face. Anyways, this gameplay is over. I went 30 and 1. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you tune in for more. Peace.